Okay, I think that's gonna be enough. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit and let's detonate it. Hey guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video we are back in Floating Sandbox and today we are going to be building our own ship and I say we because I'm going to be doing a multi-part series of building a ship in this game and I'm going to take suggestions from you guys so that is going to be really cool, I'll get to that in a minute. But there will be a tutorial video coming up soon by Tim Can, and I'll leave a link in the top right corner to that video when it's out, and that'll show you how to use the builder, the ship builder, in game. So yeah, stay tuned for that. So anyways, let's go ahead and let's build our own ship. So it's very simple, we're just gonna go over to the top right here and click create new ship, and then we have a blank canvas for us to build our ship on. Now I'm gonna create the basic design, and then I'm going to have you guys tell me in the comments what I should do next. So how many compartments it should have, what types of rooms should it have. Right now we're just going to do the basic shape. Now there's a few tools here we can use, like the draw line tool. This is perfect if you just want to draw a line and you don't want to have to kind of click it out like that. So it is super fun as well to build ships and it's not really that difficult. And uh, once again, stay tuned for those tutorial videos coming by Tim Can. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna select a material. Obviously we want a double bottom, we wanna be secure. So let's go ahead and build the keel here. So we'll start with obviously a flat bottom because we're not really looking for any type of weird shape there. We just want a traditional design. Now I should say that I wanna build a ship from the 1910s, maybe the 1920s. That seems a bit interesting. So if you're thinking of any ideas, think of that. So yeah, let's go ahead and build the basic shape here. So here is our anti-fouling. That is very nice. And then obviously our rudder is gonna go here. So actually I can build our rudder in, but uh, I don't know if I wanna use the double bottom material. I could go ahead and just use iron hull because I think that'll work good. So we'll just build a bit of a rudder here, and this should be good. And I don't know, maybe I'll come up with a name for the ship, or maybe you guys will come up with a name for this ship. That's what's so fun about doing these builds, is that you can get really interactive with the community, and I'm excited to see what you guys come up with for ideas. So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to build this rudder on in here. So that looks kind of horrible, so we're just gonna erase that, and yeah, there we go. We have an erase tool as well, so very useful. Anyways, we're just gonna build this rudder up. It's not gonna be anything too spectacular but there we are now obviously this is just the lower part of the hull so we have to actually build the upper part and I'll get to doing that just now so let's go ahead and let's select the same well actually I don't think we need the double bottom material I was gonna say why don't we select the same double bottom material for black but no we don't really need to do that because double bottom is really only for the bottom of the ship so we're gonna go ahead and just use the regular hull and we should be good let's make sure we get the right shape there so it's just going to be two by twos here. It's a little difficult to get. There we are. And then we'll build up like so. Look at that. That is nice. Okay. And obviously we'll do it for this side as well. Now it's going to be a little lower here because we want to have the shape of the, um, the hull over here. So we don't want it to be, you know, too tall. We want to have that stern shape. All right, so with that done, let's go ahead and build up our stern shape. So that looks pretty decent there, and then we'll build that down. Okay, that's pretty good. And you know what? We'll just go ahead and add in another layer. So now we've got our stern shape, and I can actually add a little bit onto that. So it's kind of curving out. And then let's go ahead and make sure that these are lined up. So as you can see, they are not lined up at all. Now to me, this looks a little too tall. But I think it should be alright. I mean, we're not going for anything super realistic. We're just trying to have a little bit of fun, build a ship, and if it doesn't look good, oh well, we'll build another ship sometime later. But right now, we're building a ship just to kind of get acquainted with the software, and I think this is looking good so far. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and get the base color, so I'm going to select iron, and that's an interior material, so water can actually flood in this area. And I'll go ahead and fill that in, so as you can see, now we've got a black hull. Same thing's gonna happen with the anti-fouling, and there we are. So it's a ship, 
Again, not the greatest looking ship in the world, but it's a ship. It's actually reminding me of ships from the uh, 1800s. So that's pretty cool, but that's not where we're going for. We're going for the 1910s, 1920s. So yeah, let's see what else we can do. Okay, so before we do anything, I wanna just test this in the water and see what happens. So let's go ahead and load it in. All right, so not that bad. The ship seems to be floating. It is kind of out of the water a bit, but I think with adding some more weight, some superstructure, this thing will sit nicely. Now, the only thing I really dislike about the ship is the bow and the lower part of it. So I may alter it just slightly and maybe I'll extend it as well. So let's go ahead, let's go back into the ship builder and continue to build it. Now maybe there's a select and drag tool. Now there's an auto trim. Don't really have to worry about that necessarily, at least right now. And there's a layer tab. We don't have to worry about that right now. So um, let's see. I'm not fully acquainted with the software, but I'm getting used to it. Now, actually, before we stretch it or move it or do anything, I think I gotta fix that bow because it's just going to a point and that doesn't look good at all. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the erase tool and just get rid of this portion here. So there we are. Now I wanna kinda clean that up just a bit. Drag that out. Just continue to do that. That looks a bit better. I mean, we can fix up the stern a little bit later, but that bow's looking a bit better. Let me fix it. All right, so this should be good. Okay, that is much nicer. Now this stern, we'll get to it in a minute, but uh, this bow, yeah, that looks pretty decent. So um, yeah, this stern. I may be able to shrink the rudder down, so let's go ahead and see if I can do that here. Let me just actually remove the rudder entirely. You know, building ships is all about fixing your own design over and over until you've got it just right and making sure obviously the ship isn't gonna destroy itself in some horrific way. But uh, for us, we're kind of looking for ultimate destruction, but we wanna build a nice ship nonetheless. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fix that up there. We'll get that kind of blocked off like that and redo the rudder. Okay, so this is looking a bit better. Oh, oops, I accidentally put a bit of red there. And there we are. Now we're gonna use iron hull to create our rudder. So I don't want it too big. That looks pretty decent. And why don't we do one of those rudders that looks like that? I've seen some of those around. And they look all right. So we'll just do that there, and then obviously we'll go ahead and fill it in, and then we'll make that part black right there. And there we are, that's much better. Look at that. Okay, that should do it. So now I've got those connecting pins in, and maybe what I can do, is I can choose something other than that color. I can choose this, oh yeah, that looks a lot better. Look at that. So now we got those pins in, and they actually look like they're painted as well. So I'm gonna use stainless steel hull for the actual superstructure bit. And I'm gonna put that right on in over here. So there we are. It should only be kind of uh, four blocks tall there. And we'll make this come back a bit. And now I'm debating on whether or not I should have a well duck. Yeah, I'll go ahead and add one in. Why not? Put one in right there. That looks pretty decent. Made a mistake already. There we are. Okay, so I'm gonna fill these in because obviously they're not gonna be sealed if they're just like that. So there we are. Okay, excellent. Now we're getting somewhere. So let's do our stern. There we go. Two blocks, two blocks. Well, that's actually three blocks there, but it doesn't really matter too much. There we are. And then we'll go up two blocks there, and then we'll come back. And then we will add another well deck. Very nice. There we are, and we'll drag this back. So now we're starting to get the shape of a ship, and I'm really starting to like this now. You know what's funny is the last time I ever built a ship like this, at least in a video, was actually on a live stream many, many years ago. So it's kind of cool to be back doing this. So there we are. We've got our uh, kind of raised portion. Now this is not a full deck. This is just a slightly raised deck and we will add the actual decks up here. So there we go. That's one deck right there and There we are. We're gonna have our bridge Just there as well now. I'm thinking should I have one or two funnels now two funnels would be really cool But I don't know if it would be appropriate for a ship of this size. It's quite small 
It's not a very big ship, but who knows? I guess I'll figure it out when I get there, but for now I'm just gonna continue building this, uh, this beautiful ship. There we are, there we are, and there we are. So now we've got a basic shape, we've got our raised bridge area, we've got our main superstructure, and we've got a bit of a well deck on either side, and we've got obviously the, uh, the two decks on the interior and our lower main deck for the engine room and boilers. So we'll put those in um, based on your guys' suggestions and that'll be very cool. But for now, let's focus on that funnel. And now that I'm looking at the ship, I'm gonna go with one funnel because yeah, the size looks more like a one funneled ship. Now because the channel heavily revolves around the color blue, um, you see it pretty much everywhere in my channel, we're gonna use blue for the funnels. So here we go, we're gonna use some structural steel and we're gonna build up a nice funnel. There we are. Now we're actually gonna make a pretty thin funnel. So that's the shape I'm looking for there. I'm gonna just fill that in. We'll paint that black in a minute. But for now, actually what I'm gonna do before changing the colors, I'm gonna fill this in. And there we are, very nice. And let's go ahead and fill that in with black. No need to go back to the menu to do that because we already have black on the hull. So there we are. Let's go ahead and fill that on in. And there it is, and we will fill in each side like so. Okay, now we're gonna use the eyedropper, select the uh, interior black, and put that in. Now, I'm thinking I wanna have a cross-section version of the ship, so when we do the next video of building this ship, I'll go ahead and replace this with actual interior-looking walls, so not just black, because obviously, the inside of the ship would not be painted the same color as the outside. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and save that there, and let's go ahead and load it in now. So let's see where it is weight-wise. Hey, that's not that bad. Look at that, it sits in the water pretty nicely there. That rudder is way too small, I've just noticed. I don't know how I haven't noticed until now, but it is. Let's go ahead and sink it. Let's see what happens. Well, it's, uh, it's flooding pretty quick. There are no compartments, so this thing could go down very level, but we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, it is going down level, so let's uh, open up a little space for the cargo hold. There we go. Let's do one for the stern as well. Very nice. Let's open a door here. Obviously, we will add these doors in once we get to the interior, but right now we're focusing on the exterior. Oh yeah, there goes the ship there, sinking to the bottom. Now the superstructure is flooding, the bridge is gone. This is going under very quick. I may actually have to raise the bridge a bit. I'm gonna split this in half and see what happens. Well then, that was pretty interesting. So let's go ahead, let's reload the ship and add a few more alterations to it. And I think we should be done. Now what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and make two cuts. One right there, actually that's a little too low. There we are. And then one right down here and then fill that in. So now the water can go into the funnel and then into the ship when it sinks. And I want to fix that rudder, so let me do that real quick. Now I'm only going to add on to the rudder, I'm not actually going to remove it again. So I'm going to add two extra blocks to it, and that should be enough. Alright, so that's our rudder done, let's go ahead and let's fix that bridge. Now I'm just going to raise it by a few blocks because I think it's a little too short. So there we are, let's go ahead and add that on, and there we are. So let's go ahead and select the interior color and fill that in. So now our bridge is the correct height. Excellent. Now we are gonna have to have some ventilation for the engine room. So we're gonna add that right over here. That should be good. Let's go ahead and put that on in. And there we are, okay. So now we're just gonna use the eyedropper tool, select that, grab that, and obviously we're gonna have to erase these floors right here. So everything down there, is now erased and we can fill that on in and what I can do is grab that material the interior black material and fill it in just there as well and what I will do is I'll make our first interior wall which will be only a one block separation because it's not gonna be the exterior so there we are that goes right on down and we got that kind of double floor part going on what we can do for the double floor part is I can add in some beams everybody loves beams not beans but beams they help hold the ship together now i am gonna have to add some ventilation here because obviously the funnel well it's not really called ventilation it's more exhaust because obviously the smoke exits out the funnel so there we are 
we're gonna just uh, erase the uh, bottom as well so let me get my eraser tool and then obviously fill it in with the interior black color there we are now we're gonna add those beams in one after the next all right there we go so now I've got beams in the stern and the bow of the superstructure and I've gone ahead and added a floor under the bridge so I think that's pretty much it I'm gonna go ahead and spawn this thing in and sink it one more time now let's see how much load this ship can really handle so let's go ahead and detonate one bomb oh well that didn't do too much damage so why don't we add just a couple more okay I think that's gonna be enough let's uh, zoom out a little bit and let's detonate it Wow um so I did not expect that. I thought the bow was gonna blow itself off, but no, it stayed intact. And now it's going down bow first. Well, there goes the exhaust. Um, can we blow the funnel off? That is my question. Here we go, let's see. Let's see. Not quite, let's do it again. Oh my gosh, this thing is super resilient. Oh my gosh, how many times do I have to blow up this funnel? Here we go. There we are. The funnel has collapsed. And there goes the ship. And it's doing something a bit interesting. It's kind of sliding into the water. Oh, nope, not anymore. It's going vertical. Let's go ahead and sink it a little more. Let's uh, blow a few holes in the stern and see what happens. Wow, look at that. I love how the water actually kind of blows up like that. That's how real explosions underwater look. They just kind of create this massive bubble. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So there goes. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this room, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye. <laughs>